What's up beautiful people in this video I'm gonna show you what you can grow in the month of September yes ladies and gentlemen we have made it there already let's go what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the Joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the Joneses don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the Joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the Joneses yes 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 we have made it to the month of September, beautiful people, and this is the month that I have been preparing for, looking forward to, and doing all that I've been doing in the front yard garden for this opportunity, okay? And that's the opportunity to grow all of the leafy greens that I grew in the garden in the backyard and did so well doing, the collars and the kale, be more specific. And I'm excited about growing these in the front yard as well. So let's go ahead and dive into what we can grow in the month of September, especially if you are in zone 9B. But I promise you, this probably stretches beyond zones because it's starting to get a little cool now. So <laughs> let's start growing. And the things we can grow are beans. I'm gonna do it three at a time. Beans, beets, and and broccoli ladies and gentlemen you heard it right beans beets and broccoli which I'm excited about growing all of them and I, honestly you can probably grow them all together and I am so excited too because the way that I'm gonna grow in my square foot garden which I'm gonna do a video on the raised bed over there setting that one up and tell you all about it I'm gonna do a video Monday through Friday okay I'm so excited about September Monday through Friday we will have videos throwback Thursdays on Thursdays and a little extra something on Tuesdays that's how excited I am y'all let's have fun you can get a lot of bang for your buck in your given space okay and you probably haven't thought about it this way but I'll be sure to uh, of course explain and show you how to do it and the broccoli oh man that's gonna be cool it's gonna be great to see those bad boys the next three up are Brussels sprouts carrots and cucumbers okay like Brussels sprouts those are some interesting growing vegetables and I'm gonna try them again I did grow them in the backyard or attempt to grow them in the backyard before and I'm gonna try it again I'm gonna do like four plants okay because like I said Said, they are interesting when you grow and if you know what I'm talking about go ahead and smash that like button because it really is carrots gotta have your root vegetables okay and uh, that's gonna be fun cucumbers y'all know how I feel about cucumbers I haven't been able to successfully grow cucumbers so at the end of the day shouts out to you all if you're able to grow those bad boys all right the next three are endive kale and creepy Koribe? Kol, kolri, um, um, uh, yeah, that, that's the word. That's the word that I'm trying to say. But I actually have seen it grow and it does look very interesting in the way that it grows, but I don't think I'm gonna grow it. It's like one of those root vegetables, I believe, if I'm thinking of it correctly at this given moment. But it is something that you can grow at this time. Now, it looks beautiful as it grows. Now, I'm thinking about it, it is. I think it is what I'm thinking it is. I'm gonna, boom, there's a picture of it. And I mean, it looks, it looks cool, but honestly, it's not something that I'm gonna try but you can grow it if that's what you're into but kale 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 i'm gonna grow so many varieties of kale that i'm so excited about and of course i'm gonna bring you along the journey the next three are leeks lettuce and onions ladies and gentlemen we can grow those okay so if you're into those go for it my rain rain she loves lettuce okay so i might have to grow some like she's been She's been on me about it. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll move to the next things. Uh, parsley, radishes, and squash. Like, there's the herb in there, some parsley. Parsley looks cool growing too. So as you can see, like, the common thread behind a lot of things that I do is it looks cool to grow it, so I give it a grow. Or I wonder how it grows, so I'll just plant it and see what happens. So <laughs> here we are. That's what happens when you begin a garden. You get curious, so you try things, even if it's things that you don't eat, which is a lot of the things that I do grow. <laughs> And uh, nonetheless, we go for it, okay? Radish, I grew a bunch of those in the backyard before. Didn't eat not one of them, but they are very interesting and they grow fast. So if you want like a fast growing plant that you maybe are growing with your kids and you're trying to encourage them to grow and garden, that is one to grow because you'll get immediate results, okay? And I'm talking like 30, 45 days, you're getting results. So obviously we know, gardeners, we know that usually doesn't happen. But at the end of the day, you can grow those bad boys as well. And the last three I'm going to say are squash, tomatoes, and turnips, which I am also excited about. As you all know, I just planted some pineapple cherry tomatoes, which I'm excited about how those are gonna turn out, how those are gonna look, and how those are gonna be. 
and I also I have in my keyhole race bed a setup just specifically for peppers so I'm gonna grow some bell peppers I'm gonna grow some tomatoes um, and more than anything I'm gonna just make some sauces okay or if there are some friends and family around that would like some tomatoes I will have some tomatoes for them because as you all know I'm not really a tomato person but at the end of the day I do like to grow things so that's how a lot of things get done over here in my garden okay and uh, yeah 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 that that is what we can do that is what we should do that is what you should have been preparing to do as I've been talking about all the things that are to come in the month of September okay so leafy greens we can grow them okay now next month I believe we can start to grow the arugula if you're into that which I am into arugula so I will be doing that probably the latter part of September going into October but what I will have in the ground is my kale is my collards and my what was the other one at the top beets um, so I have some golden beets and some uh, purple beets, of course, as well, or red, whatever you want to call them. I call them purple, and I'm so excited about those bad boys growing. But let me know in the comment section below, what are you excited about growing? What are you excited about allowing to take root, take place, to grow in your garden, okay? Be it the front yard, the backyard, container garden, porch garden, however you are gardening. And shouts out to the Holmes family. You all have taken a leap of faith and started your own garden. And I love it. It's like a greenhouse garden situation. And it, it, it's it's amazing just to see how people are actually gravitating to the ability to grow their own food, okay? If you want a healthier lifestyle, all it starts is with your first seed. Your first seed, I promise you, I promise you, it'll take root, it'll grow, and it'll encourage you to do so many more things. And that's how I have all of this. That's how this is growing oh so very fast. I'm a city boy at heart, okay? I went to LSU for college, and then I went back to the city of Atlanta, and then I came out to Tampa, still living in the city. However, at the end of the day, this was in my heart. And therefore, this is what you see. And it all started with one seed, okay? One seed, one plant, one harvest. And man, I am excited. So excited that I'm doing this video for us all. And excited because there is so much more that we will get to grow together, okay? So may the month of September be with you. May you grow and harvest and have everything that you so desire to have in your garden. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is the month in which I shine because these are the things in which I love to grow and I'm gonna go ahead and set this here raised bed up for growth and for proper 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 uh, distancing and spacing okay I don't want to say too much but you'll see that video on Friday and so with that being said let's keep growing y'all let's keep having fun in the garden and grow all the different things that we can grow because it's the month of September and it's time to make it a September to remember do you remember Okay, I don't want to do too much, okay? I want to get copyrighted. But at the end of the day, you know the song. So I hope you dance with me. And until next time, love you all. I appreciate you all. See you on the next video. I'm going to do a video Monday through Friday, okay? I'm so excited about September. Monday through Friday, we will have videos. Throwback Thursdays on Thursdays and a little extra something on Tuesdays. That's how excited I am, y'all. Let's have fun. Happy gardening. Love you all. Peace. <gasps>